Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most range repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to unplug the appliance first. To access components through the back of the range, you will need to remove the screws securing the main rear panel and set the panel aside. Some models will have a separate panel to access oven control board components. When the repair is complete, replace the panel or panels and secure the screws. If your repair requires the removal of the range's main top, you should first shut off the gas supply. Now remove all of the burner grates, as well as the burner caps and bases. Depending on the model, you may need to remove mounting screws to release the bases. Next, uninstall the screws securing the burner tubes, if necessary. Now, insert a putty knife between the main top and the control panel to release the two spring clips. On some models, these clips will be located on the sides of the cabinet. You can now pull the main top off or lift it up and support it. When the repair is complete, slide the main top back on or remove the support and lower the main top and press down to lock it into place. Align the burner tubes with the holes in the main top and secure with the screws if applicable to your model. Replace the burner bases by lining up the electrodes with the slot or hole in each base. Secure the bases with the mounting screws if applicable. Replace the burner caps and grates. You can now turn the gas supply back on. To remove the oven door, flip the hinge locks down on either side. Now lift the door up and out. If you need to access the bake burner assembly, remove the screws securing the oven's bottom panel and lift the panel out. Next, remove the screws and detach the burner shield to access wiring or components below the assembly, you may need to remove the storage drawer. When the repair is complete, replace the burner shield and secure it with the screws. Replace the bottom panel and reinstall the screws. If necessary, replace the storage drawer. Reinstall the oven door by aligning the hinge hooks with the holes in the cabinet and push the hinge locks back into place. Once the range is fully reassembled, you can plug it back in and check the appliance to make sure it's functioning properly.